What is up guys and welcome back to the Accelerators Hub for another video. So today I'm going to be going through my inventory of all of my Accelerators loose mint cards that I've opened up out of packages. I've been opening up a ton of packs looking for cards recently and uh, I figured it's time for me to go through and figure out just how many cards I have sitting in these, uh, these plastic boxes and uh, how many of each kind I have because I do like to list lots of like 20 or 25 cards on eBay, see if I can get any takers off of it. So today we're going to be going through organizing them all and counting them up. And I do get questions a lot on how many accelerators cars I have, how many cards I have. So I figured this might be of interest to some of you to see how many cars I have. I really do need a good organization system as well because I have about, I don't know, if I had to estimate, probably two or three hundred cars laying around my room in various spots and I just need a, a way to sort them. So I'm going to lay them all out and then I will holler at you guys when I get them organized. So I've got about maybe 20 or 25 cars here, these Metal Maniac vehicles and one or two silencers. Metal Maniac is definitely the most common. I probably have 20 to 25 of Rolling Thunder and Hollowback. But uh, Metal Maniac is obviously the most inexpensive of the cars. And the drones are probably right after them. Teku are the most expensive by a mile. I've got a couple of Teku in here. This is where I keep the majority of my cars. Uh, I've probably got about 10 layers with the bubble wrapping cars in here. Trying to keep them separated so they don't bump against each other and dang them up. Okay, so I just finished sorting through all the cars, and this might be going for some shock value, but here they are. This is my complete Accelerators car collection. Obviously, I don't have any of the super rare cars like Reverb, Piledriver, Flathead Fury, Chicane, or Spectite, but mostly just the cheap bulk ones that I could buy and then take the cards out of the packs. So I'm going to go through the whole set here. So in total, I think it was 156 cars when I counted. I have 30 copies of Rolling Thunder. Uh, I've always been fascinated by the different models, how like one style is darker than the other. It almost seems like there was a nice edition of each kind of car and then sort of a knockoff edition. Uh, you can't really tell with the Ratifieds or the Spine Busters, but especially with the hollow backs, you can really tell with these how there was sort of a nice, uh, you can't really tell on camera. But this is a really cool looking hollow back. It looks real metallic-y and this one looks almost like it's made out of plastic. Almost like a cheap knockoff when you put them side by side. And most of the cars are like that. Like they have RDO 6s that almost look carbon fiber-esque and then ones that are, seem like they're shiny cheap plastic. Anyways though, I distracted myself. So I have 30 Rolling Thunders. I have 17 Ratifieds. I have 10 Jackhammers, 4 Spine Busters, 19 Hollow Backs, five Riveteds, seven power bombs, and that concludes the Metal Maniacs, a total of 30, 47, 57, 61, 80, 85, 92. So 92 of my cars are Metal Maniacs. And you can clearly tell that they're the cheapest because obviously the bulk numbers of Ratified, Hollowback, and uh, Rolling Thunder are absurd. I typically sell the cars in lots where I try to get one of each kind of car and put as many different cars as I can in a lot. I don't like to sell duplicates. So like out of these, I've probably got like 24 different types of 25. So I'll probably make a lot of 25 cars, but uh, it's gonna take quite a lot to move all those rolling thunders. Whew. On to the silencers. These are probably the, uh, I'd say Teku's most expensive, then silencers, then drones, then metal maniacs. So I don't have a ton of silencers vehicles. They're pretty hot sellers. So I've got five nitriums, five iridiums. I've got an anthracite, a carbide. I still think that's one of the cooler ones, uh, a technetium. This is actually the only technique I've ever had, and uh, they're pretty hard to find. And a Cub Light. I opened about 10 Cub Lights over the last year, trying to get Cub Light cards for buyers. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Cub Light cards almost never come with Cub Light cards in them. So it was one of the biggest pains in the ass is trying to get Cub Light cards. And then I have two Exceliums to finish up the silencers. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so 16 silencers. Moving on to the drones, I have 16 copies of RDO 6, definitely one of the most common drone cars. Two copies of RDO 9, these are pretty rare, but uh, I'm not sure why I have more of those than I do of RDO 3, which is a lot more common. And then I have an RD 10 right here, and then I have nine RDO 4s and nine RDO 1s. So to wrap up the drones, we have 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, plus 16, so 38 drone cars. I don't know much about the cars and the different variations. I know there's some that come with like six stoke wheels and uh, the other ones have uh, five notches on their wheels. Like this one here has five and this one has six, but I'm not sure which type is more rare than the other. 
But uh, one way to tell is looking at the wheels, which type you have, you can see that uh, these two have like pretty like deep green wheels and these are like, I don't know how to explain it, less green. It's like those two are much greener than the rest of these. You can tell that one, two, three, four, those are the carbon fiber-esque looking ones, the ones that look really cool. And then the rest are all the cheap plastic. Sorry if I'm rambling here, but I just like these cars. I think they're pretty cool. So I've got three copies of Baseline, seven Drift Techs. One of these is a orange wing variation. Now what's interesting is I opened all of these out of packs. Uh, I know that you can get different types of cars. Like I know there's a Drift Tech that comes with a Hyperpod and uh, there's a Baseline that comes with the Accelodrome. But uh, I've never really understood why certain ones have different variations than others. Uh, just never really got that. Uh, I wish there's people that could explain it to me. If you know, go down in the comments and let me know why some have uh, orange wings and like some synchros have black wings because I'd love to find out more about it. So moving on, we've got two battle specs here, two power rages. That's one of my favorite cars and obviously synchro is a fan favorite. I've got four of these and one of the black wing versions. And then I have one high voltage car. Uh, for some reason, when I open this one out of the pack, it's not going to focus. Hold on a second. Uh, this one has like this white dust powder all over it. I'm not sure if there's a hole in the package because this is supposed to be all black, I'm pretty sure, and it has this whitening on it. And I tried to clean it off with Q-tips and uh, wet paper towels, and I just, I don't want to damage the car at all. So I've just sort of been keeping this as my, uh, my little token. So I just kind of keep this one for me, uh, just as a little toy that I can hang on to. I don't really want to sell it to somebody because my claim for all these is that they're all mint straight out of the package. I, I take really good care of them. I seal them all up in these uh, bins with tons of bubble wrap to make sure they're not bumping into each other and dinking each other up. So that is my complete Accelerator's inventory of the cars. It's a total of 156 cars. Well, 155 if you don't count the high voltage. So 156 cars. Just thought I'd show you guys this. I know a lot of people keep messaging me on eBay asking how many cars I have. And uh, this is this collection. I'm hoping to keep continue to add more to them. So that's all I really have for today, guys. Just wanted to take a second to show you guys my inventory. Uh, I thought it was cool how many cars I had as a kid. I would have freaked out to have 156 Accelerator's cars. But uh, unfortunately, I had to wait until I'm an adult to have them. Can't really play with them anymore because <laughs> they're, uh, they're too valuable to play with. But uh, thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. And uh, I should have a pack opening video coming in the next couple of days for you guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.